20 years ago, no one thought that these could be wines that you could find around the table all around the world. Two centuries ago, in the south part of Italy, Ferdinando IV was the king of Naples. He wanted to do a sort of competition with the French. That's why he built this uh, huge royal palace with a huge garden in Caserta. Near the garden, he uh, set up this uh, vineyard and nine different uh, grape varietals. Then he built a um, silk manufacturing plant to produce uh, jacquard fabrics for the princess and the lady of the court. My great-grandfather, he was uh, looking after the manufacturing plant. After a while, uh, the Bourbons had to leave Italy because Italy was united. After that, uh, in 1861, uh, the family had to escape and um, we still save letters from my great-grandfather where he says to one of his cousins, I am in trouble, I don't know how to feed my children because the royal factory is bankrupt. So he started in 1885 with seven uh, looms. The fabrics that we produce are not a print fabrics, but they are um, a jacquard fabric. Uh, that means that the design is the result of the intersection between the weft and the world. Anyway, my father, he has always made wine in a very simple way with the workers of the company. They used to buy uh, the grapes in Benevento and they used to vinify for their own, for their own consumption. There was this um, kind of revival which was uh, supported, you know, developed by the University of Naples and um, the, 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 the government. They uh, financed a project for rediscovering all the ancient vines, all the indigenous varieties that the Romans first and the Bourbons uh, later used to cultivate and vinify in northern Campania. Uh, so my father, he planted um, nine different grapes. Uh, this was uh, in uh, 1992. Uh, he planted the Chascinoso, Coda di Pecora, uh, Pallagrello Bianco, Pallagrello Nero, Casa Vecchia, uh, Aglianico, Falanghina. And um, that's how we started.